When it comes to bathroom updates, there are lots of possibilities. From quick, easy hardware exchanges to costlier, more time-consuming bathtub and shower renovations. The advanced training segment in this volume shows you how to tackle what some would consider to be the mother of all bath renovations, replacing a shower enclosure. In this segment, we're going to take a look at several other bathroom updating projects, from the simplest hardware replacements all the way up to installing a shower door. Let's start with the hardware. Changing out towel bars, toilet paper holders, robe hooks, toothbrush holders and the like is an extremely easy project. A few minutes, a few screws and you have a whole new look. Home Impressions, the Do It Best Corp exclusive decor brand, offers a myriad of popular hardware options in several different finishes. These days, the most popular finishes tend to be polished chrome and brushed nickel, although oil rubbed bronze has also begun to develop a fan base. Bright brass finishes still have a loyal following, although this finish is much less popular these days unless it's in combination with chrome in two-tone hardware. In terms of style, the general trend nowadays is towards simplicity. Now, speaking of simplicity, applying a fresh coat of paint is another one of the simplest and least expensive ways to spruce up a bathroom, or any other room for that matter. The key thing to remember when painting a bathroom is to choose a semi-gloss sheen because semi-gloss won't be damaged by high moisture. Semi-gloss finishes can also be scrubbed when they get dirty and the color won't come off. Now here are a few hints for getting through the trickiest part of painting a bathroom painting behind the toilet without slopping paint all over it. Now, short of removing the toilet, which nobody in their right mind would want to do just so they can paint behind it, you may be able to reach back there with a miniature trim roller, not a regular trim roller, but the smaller inch thick variety. If there isn't enough space for a mini roller, use a sponge brush. Don't forget that you can always remove the tank lid if it's in your way. Now, if you're the type who can't stand getting even a single drop of paint on the back of the tank, put some plastic wrap around it before you begin painting, then let the paint dry completely before you remove the plastic. Okay, now a moment ago, we talked about swapping out bath hardware, but there are some other things in the bathroom that you can usually exchange without expending enormous amounts of time, money, or effort, namely the faucets. As with hardware, the most popular faucet finishes tend to be polished chrome, satin nickel, and oil rubbed bronze along with two-tone chrome and brass. Faucets come in a vast array of designs to complement any decor, whether it's traditional, contemporary, or any style in between. Faucets also come in different sizes, and it's important to get the right size so that the faucet will fit the holes in the vanity top. Generally, bath faucets are four inches on center, while kitchen faucets are eight inches on center. Keep in mind that before installing a new faucet, whether it's in the sink, shower, or bathtub, a thorough review of the manufacturer's instructions is essential. Replacing the shower head is another great way to help modernize a bathroom, and it's usually even easier than replacing a faucet. In most cases, all you need to do is unscrew the old shower head, wrap some Teflon tape over the threads on the pipe, and then screw on the new shower head over the tape. Like faucets, shower heads are available in several different finishes. Some shower heads are fixed mounted, while others are handheld. Some have both a fixed head and a handheld sprayer, and there are even models with twin shower heads. Another shower head variable is spray pattern. The simplest models have just the one standard spray pattern. Others are designed to deliver a spray that feels like rainfall. Still others have a variety of different massage settings to turn your tub or shower into a spa-like retreat. Yet another way to update a bathroom is by replacing the medicine cabinet. Now, medicine cabinets come in a range of sizes, and they're available in surface-mounted and recessed varieties. Some cabinets have a single door, while others, known as tri-view cabinets, have three doors. The easiest way to replace a medicine cabinet is to choose a replacement of the same type as the original. That is to say, if you have a surface-mounted cabinet now, replacing it with another surface-mounted cabinet will be the quickest, easiest thing to do. If you have a recessed cabinet, it's easiest to replace it with another recessed cabinet of the same size. While we're on the subject of medicine cabinets, there's an innovative new line of medicine cabinets that a lot of decor conscious people will find very interesting. It's made by a company called Team Efforts. The cabinets themselves can be surface mounted or recessed 
and they come in four different widths, so there's one to fit any size bathroom. Well, that's pretty cool in itself, but what's really neat is that the optional door frames for these cabinets are sold separately. The frames are available in nine different decorative finishes. If you decide to redecorate, just remove the old frame and put on a new one for a whole new look. All right, now let's move on to an electrical bathroom project. Updating the light fixtures is another fairly easy way to brighten up your bath decor, literally. Obviously, you want to have good lighting at the vanity so that you can see clearly while shaving or applying makeup. For safety reasons, bath and shower areas also need to be well lit. Fixtures installed directly over tubs and showers must be enclosed to protect the electrical components, and they need to be UL listed for use in wet areas. All right, now let's turn our attention down to the flooring. Few things will date a bathroom more than an old, stained, worn-out floor. Fortunately, replacing flooring isn't all that hard. Let's take a look at how different materials measure up in the bathroom. Ceramic tile is an extremely popular flooring choice for bathrooms these days, and for good reason. It's durable, it's attractive, and it's highly resistant to water damage. It's best to choose a tile with some texture for slip resistance because smooth glazed finishes can be very slippery when wet. Vinyl flooring is another very good choice for bathrooms. It's inexpensive, water won't hurt it, and it comes in a huge variety of colors and patterns. It's also a cinch to install. Laminate flooring, while not the best choice for bathrooms, can also work because it has a very durable wear layer. The only caveat is that you have to promptly clean up spilled water or it could damage the floor. With proper care, though, laminate can be suitable. It's definitely a much better choice than hardwood. Moving on, a bigger but still fairly painless bathroom facelift is replacing the vanity. Vanities come in a range of different sizes and a vast array of colors and styles, from traditional to modern and from simple to ornate. And now for the final project in our overview of bathroom updates, enclosing the bathtub or shower. There are two main options here. One is to have a shower curtain held up by a tension rod and rings. The other option is to have a shower door. Updating either or switching out one for the other can make a huge difference in how the bathroom looks. If you currently have a shower curtain instead of a door, most of the time you can replace the curtain with a door, provided the walls aren't significantly out of plumb. Many shower doors have out of plumb adjustment features, but those will only get you so far. Shower doors come in different heights and width ranges, so before purchasing one, you need to know the height and width of the opening. Manufacturers usually have measuring guidelines on their websites. Once you know what size door you need, there are three more decisions to make. First is the frame finish. You'll want to choose a finish that will look good with your other bath hardware. Second is the glass pattern. You may have several options here. There's clear glass with no pattern, and then there's hammered, rain, and lots of other patterns. The third choice is whether you want a framed or frameless door. Frame doors are the traditional type with framing all the way around the glass panels. Frameless doors are so-called because the panels don't have metal around them. The glass on frameless doors is usually thicker to improve the structural integrity. Adding or replacing a shower door isn't a terribly difficult project, but it is a two-person job, so you'll want to have a partner handy. 